Biased statement of Iranian parliament against Azerbaijan. The tensions between Iran and Azerbaijan spiraled after the terrorist attack on the Azerbaijani embassy in Iran's Tehran. On April 5, about 210 deputies of the Iranian parliament adopted a statement condemning the opening of Azerbaijan's embassy in Israel. By the way, the terrorist group Islamic Jihad of Palestine expressed a similar attitude to the issue. Iranian MPs called on the country's Ministry of Foreign Affairs to take diplomatic measures in this regard. They presented it as a step against the interests of the Islamic world. Members of the Iranian parliament called on the authorities of Arab and Islamic countries, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to condemn this step of Azerbaijan. The deputies also emphasized that this step of the Azerbaijani government will cause many negative political consequences. 210 MPs, who couldn't find any other reason to condemn the opening of the embassy, tried to take advantage of the Palestinian issue. They tried to portray the regime in Iran as a bigot for the Palestinians. The parliamentarians suggested to the Iranian foreign ministry to address an appeal to all Islamic countries. The Iranian parliament isn't very influential in the Iranian regime. The supreme authority in the country is the supreme religious leadership under the leadership of Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei. In this regard, it's not an exception that the task of this illogical statement of the deputies came from the top management. However, the M.P.'s claim is rotten and baseless. They want Azerbaijan's relations with Israel to be communicated to all Arab and Muslim countries. However, in recent years, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Tunisia, Morocco and other countries like that have taken very important steps in the direction of establishing broken relations with Israel. Relations between Iran and Saudi Arabia have been broken for 44 years. The Tehran regime is to blame for this for many reasons. About a year ago, a military agreement was signed between Israel and Bahrain. According to information, the document envisages the development of cooperation between the two countries in the fields of intelligence, military and industry. Relations between the United Arab Emirates and Israel have been established and are developing as well. The Emirate is also opening a diplomatic mission in Iran. Diplomatic relations between Egypt and Jordan with Israel continue. The Arab world is expanding relations with Israel. In such a case, 210 deputies are criticizing Azerbaijan for opening a diplomatic mission in Israel and complaining to the Arab countries. Azerbaijan and the Arab states prefer cooperation in the region. Official Baku confirms this by recognizing Palestine and opening a diplomatic mission there. The Iranian authorities have never condemned the occupation of the lands of Azerbaijan, a Muslim country. On the contrary, as a rule, they stood on the side of the invader and helped it. Deputies of this regime never accepted a document criticizing Armenia's aggression against Azerbaijan. Also, during the occupation, Armenia destroyed mosques and many historical religious monuments on the lands of Azerbaijan. The regime and its deputies haven't commented on the atrocities committed by Armenians in Muslim lands in the past or in the present. It seems very ridiculous for them to use the name of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and refer to it in this matter. Because the Tehran regime has never complied with the requirements of the resolutions and other documents adopted by the organization regarding the liberation of Azerbaijani lands from occupation. On the contrary, it provided assistance to the occupying Armenia and continues to do so. This regime's talk of Islamic solidarity is the height of hypocrisy. Because the Iranian regime played no less role than the Armenians in the occupation of Azerbaijani territories. OIC members Turkey, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Uzbekistan haven't established or restored diplomatic relations with Armenia. The other Arab states suspended relations with Armenia due to the violation of the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan, a Muslim state. However, the Tehran regime helped and supported the Armenians in terms of material, military, political and propaganda in order to keep the lands under occupation. Since its establishment, the Islamic Republic of Iran has committed terrorism on the territory of Muslim countries. It organized terrorist attacks on the embassies and diplomatic missions of Saudi Arabia and Azerbaijan. This regime maintains terrorist groups in the Arab states, on the territory of Azerbaijan, 
and supports this crime. This is the regime of Tehran, the so-called Islamic Republic that falsely misuses Islamism, and cannot hide its hostility to the Arab and Turkish world. It's not surprising that such an illogical and terroristic statement was made by its parliament, 